Rory, difficult though it is to believe, another pre-season is behind us. A new Dancing Wind Premiership campaign is about to kick off. There must be a sense of excitement in the changing room. Yes, uh, it's been a long pre-season. We're back at the end of May and with the European Games coming up, so it's been a long pre-season. We've got a, a week off there just to try and recharge the batteries. Now the friendlies are coming thick and fast again, so um, yeah, I think we're a bit still disappointed from last season, but I think that gives us a drive to, to kick on again. There's going to be higher expectation around Cliffville this season, uh, probably higher than there has been for quite a number of years. And that's all because of what happened last year, and it's the same players, albeit have since been added to. So there's a reason for that expectation, and it doesn't seem to be something that the players are going to shy away from. No, and, and I think I, we're, we're thriving off that at the minute, and we know there's going to be the expectations, and we've brought that on ourselves. You know, if we, if we weren't playing well, or we weren't winning a lot of games like we were last season, um, we, you, you begin the new season expecting just to try and get European places again, but that's not the case. We're, we're trying to go in for every competition, so it'll be the same as last season again. And you just touched on it there in pre-season in terms of being stop-start. Is that strange to adjust to where you're coming in and you have the intensity of preparing for European Games, then the European Games themselves, and then it kind of winds down again and then winds back up again very, very quickly? Is that difficult to adjust to as a player? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, because you get the, all, the hard ground done, you get all the running done, all the sicknesses out of you. Um, you get into the games and then all of a sudden you've probably an hour, three weeks to go to the season. So you can't bust yourself for an hour, three weeks. So you got to recharge the battery somehow. And we got a week off, uh, shoot away for a couple of days and then we're back to the running again and uh, getting the minutes back under the belt. So it, it's been quite tough, to be honest. I. And in terms of the season ahead, we start at a venue where we generally haven't had a lot of luck over the years, albeit our record against Coleraine last year was very good, unusually good for a Cliffmill team. They've strengthened really well over the summer too. You must be expecting a difficult start. It is a difficult start and, you know, what was it, five wins out of six last season against them? Like, so, we've nothing to fear. I think everybody will be kicking it up a notch against us this season and, and rightly so. We, we were very good last season, so um, I think as a changing room, we're expecting a lot a lot of tougher games, um, but uh, everyone, you're, you're going to play Korean away eventually, so you might as well get it over and done with, and the way we've, we've played throughout pre-season, there, there's no doubt in my mind we can go out and win that game. It's something that seems to be said every pre-season, that there are no poor teams in the Premiership, everybody can beat everybody, as we see from week to week when it does get underway, and you must be looking around the league this summer, seeing all the signings that every team has made, and think, there's going to be some serious competition week in, week out here. Aye, well, even like the, the top six, every, everyone's saying the top quality players. Limfield with Cooper and the Glens have brought in four or five new boys. The, the players we've brought in in our squad now is just, it's probably one of the best Clumble squads I've seen for the last few years. Um, and then lower down the leagues, they're recouping as well. So, again, like you say, there's no easy games in this league. And we're way to put it down last year, we drew. Um, so them, them op opponents down at the bottom of the table, they're going to be hard to break down. We know what they're going to be like. They'll be sitting in behind the ball and trying to br letting us try to break them down. But um, no easy games in this league at all. And probably the league's probably got better from last season with Neary coming up. So, um, aye, no easy games at all. And in terms of our own signings, one you're obviously very familiar with, must be very pleased to have linked up Ronan again. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, aye, he's, um, he's hit the ground running and you know what, I think he needed to hit the ground running. I don't think he had the time to uh, settle in and wait a couple of months. I think he really needed to hit the ground running because of the whole transfer and January and just the way he had left Lauren. Um, I don't think he had time to, to settle down and because we needed someone to come in um, and hit the ground running, and he has. Like uh, The goals are coming left, right and centre now, so long may it continue. And uh, just finally, I know some players set little sort of targets and competitions between themselves in terms of who's going to score the most between two players. Is there any point between you and Ronan, given the pre-season he's had? No. I'll just give it up. What's the point? He shoots from everywhere.